Areas under normal distributions. Areas under portions of a normal distribution can be computed by using calculus. Since this is a non-mathematical treatment of statistics, we will rely on computer programs and tables to determine these areas. This figure shows a normal distribution with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. The shaded area is the area from one standard deviation below the mean. 50 minus 10 equals 40. To one standard deviation above the mean. 50 plus 10 equals 60. The shaded area between 40 and 60 contains 68% of the distribution. The area within one standard deviation of the mean is 0 0.68. Here you see a normal distribution with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 20. Again, 68% of the distribution is within one standard deviation of the mean. The two normal distributions you just saw are specific examples of the general rule that 68% of the area of any normal distribution is within one standard deviation of the mean. For all normal distributions, 95% of the area is within 1.96 standard deviations of the mean. The shaded area contains 95% of the area and extends from 55.4 to 94.6. For all normal distributions, 95% of the area is within 1.96 standard deviations of the mean. For quick approximations, it is sometimes useful to round off and use 2 rather than 1.96. The calculator calculate area for a given x can be used to calculate areas under the normal distribution. Here it is used to calculate the area above 110 for a normal distribution with a mean of 90 and a standard deviation of 12. The area is shown in the figure and numerically at the bottom of the screen. The area is 0.047790. The calculator calculate x for a given area works in reverse. For example, say you wanted to find the score corresponding to the 75th percentile of a normal distribution with a mean of 90 and a standard deviation of 12. You enter 90 for the mean and 12 for the standard deviation. Then enter 0.75 for the shaded area and click the below button. The area below becomes 98.0939 is 0 0.75.